Hello and welcome to today's video on my channel which is going to be an informational one on how to style short hair in Air Force uniform. I've gotten various questions regarding how to do it, whether I personally can leave my hair down in uniform or basically what's allowed and I have some answers for you today so let's get into it. Firstly, I did want to talk about some really convenient tools to have. If you are able to, I definitely recommend getting some sort of hairspray. You can get a light hold hairspray. I really like the Tresemme ones because they smell pretty good and they're not too sticky or crunchy. This is more so to give your hair texture if you need it and just something to grip onto. But if you're interested in a strong hold hairspray, the got to be glued is just... It's glue. It will keep your hair down. So if you have unruly hair and you have a lot of frizzy flyaways, definitely a hairspray will be a good option for you. But if you're watching this because you're curious on how to do your hair before BMT, you might know you're not allowed to bring any sort of aerosol sprays with you. So in that case, you would have to bring a gel or some sort of Mr. Hairspray in a bottle like this. So, if you're going to bring a gel, one that I enjoy is the Got To Be, again, Ultra Glued. Now, this one I really only use for baby hairs and the front section of the hair because this will lay your hair down. And if you're looking for something a little bit less, I know Dove has some really good brand or has some really good products in their brand. And then I'm pretty sure anything you can find at the drugstore will work well enough to include like even the large jars of Echo or Eco is what I used in BMT. So anything to help keep your hair down during BMT is going to be your best friend because they're most likely to be sticklers for your appearance while you're there. If you need something that's even stronger than they got to be glued I think what did somebody use in my flight gorilla snot there's a brand called gorilla snot that lays down really thick curly hair so that might be a really good option for you to look into as well but hairspray and gel are gonna be some really good friends of yours when it comes to keeping your hairstyle looking very slick and chic next is one that sort of goes into the care category any sort of leave-in moisturizer or conditioner is gonna be a good option because if you think about it your hair is gonna be up all day if it is able to be up if it's shorter then you know you might not have to worry about it but if your hair is up you have to think about how much tension it's under and if your hair is too dry or too brittle it might split or break and that's a lot of problem that I feel like women in the military have is they start getting breakage all along this area of the head because it's not moisturized and you're pulling it back tightly every single day so a moisturizer a leave-in conditioner I enjoy is the Briogeo don't despair repair this one is more expensive than I found at drugstore, but it's also a brand I really love. So it's one that I use for shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and I think that's it. <laughs> so this is a good option, but anything you find I think will be good. Another one I enjoy using is the Bumble and Bubble thickening treatment. It's not really meant to actually thicken hair. It's just sort of meant to give a grip and a texture, which is kind of why I like it. It's more a styling spray than anything. So I'll put this in my hair when it's still wet and then when it dries, it just is not so fine and silky. That way when I put bobby pins in, they stay a little bit better and when I'm like pulling it back, it's less likely to frizz out or not stay as well. So all of those sprays are really good options and when it comes to brushes, to get your nice slicked look, you're gonna want something that is flat and compact, something like a bore bristle brush because all of this is going to be able to grip your hair really well. That's what I used to brush my hair today and then you will also need a baby hair brush so a toothbrush will work or you can go to Sally's they might have some really small ones but this will help if you have gel or anything that you want to use to push down your baby hairs that will work for you as well when it comes to hair ties and bobby pins this is more so a personal preference than anything but I feel like I really enjoy the scrunchy brand scrunchy brand uh, when it comes to hair ties and their bobby pins just because I feel like their bobby pins don't slide out to the side when I'm using one hand that pisses me off so just get some really good bobby pins really good hair ties you can definitely wear small little elastics if you need to when it comes to braiding your hair and pinning your hair up clear black or same tone as your hair color 
is what you're going to want to grab. So for me, I grab either black or brown hair ties and then black or brown bobby pins. Lastly, you're going to want to have some sort of comb. This is just so that you can part your hair. You don't have to part your hair if you don't want to, but I feel like it looks nice. So any sort of comb will do. I was looking for one that I had that has like the needle tip at the end, but you know, whatever works for you. So in general, those are all some suggestions I have for you when it comes to what you're going to bring to BMT, but also just in your everyday routine to get your hair ready. I think these are some products that you're going to enjoy having and will find make your life much more convenient. But now that that is all of out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the actual hairstyles and how I recommend you style shorter hair in uniform. One of the biggest questions I get now is whether or not my hair is short enough to leave down in uniform as it is and the answer to that is no and I kind of wanted to give you a visual representation of why so I actually busted out my uniform today I will put it on for you for demonstration purposes because it's kind of hard for people to imagine what I mean when I say your hair cannot pass the bottom of your collar now when you are wearing your uniform whether it's an ocp top like the one i'm wearing now or an abu which is the older uniform i guess if you join the air force now they will provide you ocps abus are being transitioned out regardless here we go you are in uniform and this is your collar the back of the collar looks just like any other dress shirt i guess if you can imagine any other polo so I'm going to turn around for you and I'm going to put my hair down and uh, let you see its length. It's pretty much at the top of my shoulders now and right now, although you may think, oh, it doesn't really look that long from the front, when I turn around, I'm pretty sure it's too long okay this looks a hot mess when it's wet but anyways now when it comes to how it looks they will look at you at the position of attention so if they're like oh your hair is kind of questionable they'll have you stand up at attention and that does sort of bring your shoulders down and therefore like your hair looks a little bit shorter so i'm gonna go ahead and turn around <laughs> I feel so weird that it's wet. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and this is basically supposed to be me demonstrating the position of attention. I'm gonna sit up straight, my shoulders down, because if for whatever reason somebody questions your hair, basically you will be looked at, they'll say, okay, well, just stand there and you'll stand at the position of attention. And that is basically, if your hair is in regs as you stand there at attention, then that's all you have to worry about. Some people are a little bit more sticklers than others, but anyway, I digress. I'm going to turn around to sort of give you an idea. Um, the audio might be weird since I'm talking at the wall instead of the microphone, but here we go. So imagine I'm standing here going about my merry business. This is the collar. Do you see this? <laughs> this is the bottom of the collar, okay? So when you're wearing it down and normal, and if I were to like, oh, am I shaking the camera? Okay. <laughs> if I'm standing here, I'm sitting up straight. My hair, I think, is falling beneath, oh yeah, the bottom of the collar. So, this is out of regs. If your hair is short, so imagine your hair is like, <laughs> I don't know how to show you shorter hair if I don't have shorter hair. <laughs> but imagine your hair is shorter than mine, maybe like mid neck length or like bottom of ear length or even barely above the shoulders and you just got a long neck. You might be fine getting away with it down. Now, if I were to curl my hair or do something to it to change the way its length is, it would still be in regs. It's just however you wear it has to be above the collar if it's down. And even if it's in a bun, it can't droop beneath the bottom of the collar. So I hope that representation helped you. <laughs> no, I cannot wear my hair in uniform down like this. So what I have been doing instead, I will show you, is this entire past week, all I did was take a boar bristle brush and brush down the top and the back 
of the hair. I'm just gonna kind of look into the viewfinder um, as my mirror since I don't have one out here in my bedroom. But literally, I just brushed all of this back and put it into one ponytail, just like this, okay. And then, after it was in its little ponytail, I took a headband, which are allowed. As long as it matches your hair color or is black, you can wear a headband. So I wear a nice little elastic, there's gotta be sweat or something there. I wear a nice little headband. And then I put little bobby pins. I put two on each side to keep back the frizzies and the bangs. So one and two. And after that is all said and done, I will grab one more hair tie to make what I like to call a nugget bun. So you know when you are doing a ponytail, but then like before you pull it all the way through, you stop, so it's a little half bun? That's what I do. So I'll show you. Just like that. So from the side and from the front, it's very put together. Yes, there's these little pieces at the bottom, but that is okay. What you don't want, according to the regulation, is rooster tails. So if you were putting your hair into like a clip, I guess, and you do it like the old fashioned like mom way, where you kind of twisted your hair up, clipped it, and then the rest of it was falling out like a rooster tail, that is not okay. But this is definitely fine. Alrighty, so let's deconstruct that one and show you a few more. Say your hair is too short or you have too many layers and you can't put it in a little nugget bun like that. Well, good news for you is ponytails are allowed in uniform as long as your ponytail doesn't extend past the bottom of your collar. So if your hair is short enough, you can put it in a ponytail. And if I wore my ponytail high enough, I'm pretty sure I could get away with that. So literally a cute little boom boom ponytail as long as it, I think based on what I'm feeling, it would be above my collar. But this is also allowed. So you can wear this during BMT if your hair is short enough. And if you need to, again, a headband, as long as it is black, matches the hair color. It doesn't have to be elastic. It can be plastic. It can be, you know, conservative. <laughs> it's a great word. Uh, and then you are good to go. So you have, boom, ponytail option. Now, if these are kind of boring to you, totally fine let's let's talk about one more if your hair is short enough to like wear down you can do half up half down so if you wanted to I used to wear my hair like this just literally tying up the half of it and leaving the other half down when my hair was first super short obviously this was cleaner than it is now and I would leave out two pieces to tuck behind my ears which is okay any sort of bangs are fine as long as they don't touch your brows and don't get in the way of your job so as a desk job I could get away with having two little bangs and then tucking them behind my ears I didn't have a problem with that and I think you'll be able to tell once you get into your career field what will work best for you Alrighty, so like I said, if you are kind of bored with those hairstyles, then you do have other options. You can do fun things to the front if you want. You can twist your hair into the style. You can braid, make two French braids and put it into a ponytail in the back. You can braid the front and put it into a little nugget bun. Somebody did ask me if you have to have a middle part or any part at all, and no, you don't have to. So if you think you look better with all your hair back like this, which I know some girls do, then you totally can. But I look super ugly like this with my hair all the way back. I feel like I just look very, um, I don't know, that's really weird. So yeah, this is fine. <laughs> My cow's cow lick or whatever won't allow it to really get split. But if you want to wear your hair like this, you totally can, okay? And then what else, what else? Oh, I'm not really sure if you have short hair, it probably would be too short to put into a sock bun. Hmm, but if it's anything like mine, what you could do is put your hair into a ponytail 
and then sort of drape your hair over the little sock donut situation. This is very rough. I'm just sort of giving a very <laughs> rough breakdown. You could put the little donut bun, right, which I don't have near me. You could put the little donut bun and instead of actually wrapping your hair down, like I guess they're supposed to, you can kind of just cover the bun like this, right, with your hair. Can you see that? I hope so. Cover it and then take an elastic and go around the donut bun so you have a cute little bun. And then with the extra pieces like this, you can kind of twist them and tuck them into the bun. Or you can wear a scrunchie and kind of like cover that. But either way, if your hair is short enough or long enough, I guess, for a donut bun, you can also do that. Now, the purpose of this video is not to show you how to get hairstyles because there's so many videos out there, literally, where you can look up donut bun with short hair, half up, half down with short hair, how to braid short hair. Like, there's so many tutorials out there, okay? I'm not the only source of information for you. I'm just sort of trying to explain what is acceptable in uniform, and I'm hoping you kind of get that with this. Moving on, if you are interested in doing something kind of fun, I totally recommend before you experiment to watch my video where I talk about hair regulations, which I will link up above for you. It is super in depth and it definitely talks about what's allowed regarding like if you have um, micro twists, locks, any sort of hairstyle you can really imagine. I, I did my best to cover it in that video. So if you're curious about that, I strongly recommend watching it before sort of trying to figure out how to do your hair. So if you're trying to do something fun, you have to keep in mind it has to be uniform. So across the board, if you're going to do a bun, it can only be one bun. You cannot do two little buns at the back, two pigtails, two space buns. Your buns cannot be super high up because if you imagine, you have a hat that you have to wear. So you can't wear your buns or your ponytails all the way up here in your operational uniform because you can't wear your hat over that without you looking like a dummy. So you can wear your hair in a ponytail or down, free-flowing, in like a braid, whatever, if you are in your PT gear because you're working out. It doesn't have to be up and really fantastic. It just has to be in a ponytail, you know, something that is professional looking. So I feel like that's, that's a lot of information for you that seems to be repeat questions for me. So I feel like I pretty much answered your questions. Can you curl your hair? Can you straighten your hair? Yep, yep, you can do all that. You can braid it and crimp it and do whatever you want as long as it's not considered faddish. So like if you come in with extravagant curls and you just look entirely different, you might get called out for that even though it's not necessarily faddish. If you look completely different, then your leadership might be like, what the heck? So there's just that to think about and then I'll also throw in my hairstyle that I really like to do is two braids, all French braid, all centerpiece, all French braid all the way back and down, and then with the tiny little nugget that I have left, since my hair is short but long enough to braid, I'll kind of just end up tucking it into each other so it looks like that milkmaid hair. I'll try to find a picture. But that's a really cool one too and that's totally allowed. I guess the best thing for me to do is just find photos and then upload them here. So I'll do a cute little slideshow for you guys really quickly just to showcase different styles that I think according to the regulations would definitely fly. Not only at your operational duty stations but in BMT. Although I will note in BMT you're just gonna kind of want to do whatever is fastest for you. It's not necessarily about looking cute, it's just like what can you get done within 10 minutes, you know? So just keep that in mind. All right, I hope this information was helpful for you. If I forgot something, which I always do, I'll go ahead and leave a little pinned comment down below in order to answer some more questions and I'll sort of be monitoring your guys' response is if I see any in the comments there where I feel like, okay, that was a good question. I totally should have included that. I'll try and answer that. I'll try and be responsive and I'll try to include any additional information in the description box as well. So if you're curious and to see how I do my hair in uniform or like to see how I do it 
when I post pictures on Instagram. I'll leave all my social medias in the description box also. And the regulation video where I broke down all of those details will be there as well. <laughs> that was a lot. I feel like that was one huge sentence. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was very helpful for you.